Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to ROV, which is a horror game where you control a deep sea ROV unit that must collect organic samples. It's quite a few controls. It's one of those things that you should probably like screenshot, and like, you can always come back to this. Is there this thing? That was okay. That switches the camera. Rotate the arm. Open and close the claw. Spin the claw. That's to angle it. and move the claw. And then on the main unit, aside from the fact that we can switch cameras. Yes, okay, here's the lower camera. We can switch cameras, adjust the light, And then we can move the whole unit. And now, how do we move forward? F and V to move forward. Okay. So let's bring it closer to the unit over here. Not too close. And then we need to, we're currently at DPT 460. We must go to DPT 6509, click sample one. All right, so we have to go lower. I think I see what we need to, let me see, we have, okay, um, we gotta rotate this thing, which was, okay, ZX, not the claw, this, and then bring it forward, rotate it our way, Very meticulous. Like it actually feels like I'm controlling a drone. <laughs> and then push forward. Some kind of weird fleshy growth. Okay, and then we need to align. No, do we? Nope, not close enough. Bring it in a little more. Touch more. Touch more right there. No. I guess we gotta bring the whole unit forward more. Right there. Nope, still not enough. Wait, I think we got. Okay, we do, we got, well, we got dislodged. Yeah, okay, bring her in. This is really interesting, actually. Like, this is pretty in-depth. Um, pun sub intended. 
So we got bring it. Wait, 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 don't knock it out. Let it fall in fully. There. All that work to collect one sample. Okay, let's back her up a little bit. Okay. And let's bring her down to 6574. We are at 6509. Bring the arm back a little too. Spin me right round. Uh... Loop? Probably just a whale. Just like the actual bloop. Let's rotate real quick. Switch the camera to. See if we notice anything weird. I'm noticing something down there, but I could just be another sample we have to click later. I mean it's nothing, you know what I mean? Just whales down here. Nothing weird. Oh, we still need to go deeper, so... Let's bring you down to... A little bit more, a little bit more. So I don't see the sample. We need to back her up, spin her around. Samples on this side. Okay. A bit a little too close. Um, no, this might work. Let's bring the arm in. The arm might be able to extend out far. We just bring out a little bit more. No, uh, we got the arm is actually nowhere near the. Uh, so it's a camera one. Spin me around. Bring the arm up here. A little lower. It's almost there. Got dislodged. I think we almost had it. Now we got it. Okay. Bring it right here. Make sure it falls in. Okay, we're good. We now need to collect sample triple at DPT 6615. Bring the arm back in. Okay. Cool. So let's back you up right there. It, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that it might be the sample over there. Spin you around a little and start descending. Six, six, one, five.
Oh wow, we have a powerful camera. Yeah, it's definitely our target. Okay, so let's rotate you this way. Game further away? No. Is it our target? Or is it something later? Let's, um, before we commit. Let's, um, go over here first. You're not missing anything around the, uh, pipe. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that's it. A little weird though, you the thing we're supposed to be collecting samples off of the pipe. That caught me off guard. That caught me off guard. Damn anglerfish. So, that's it for ROV. Pretty good, uh, pretty atmospheric horror game. There has been, this is not the first you controlling some kind of remote controlled vehicle into the water game. There's actually been a, a few of them out there, but this is the first one I've seen that does it kind of right. Because the other ones, it's just like, you're a camera. You're essentially, essentially no different from you playing a normal game. Uh, I'm not going to count Iron Lung, because you're, you're controlling a submarine, you're a little more active than that. This is like very meticulous, moving the arms, spin, 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 blah, 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 like that. I mean, theoretically, we were never in danger. I mean, it's an ROV unit, right? There's like no one in it, in this case, but it still catches the player off. At least it caught me off guard. Because I didn't think there would be like a jump scare. I, like, the game was a very slow build-up, so like, I was very much expecting just that eh, it's, it's going to be a very subtle kind of scare horror game like nope nope here comes here comes a giant angler fish yeah well uh actually pretty well executed like very immersive kind of horror game i, I like like i said i've seen it in a few areas i like these off the wall id horror games because the the essence of horror is always there, there's different kinds of horror but the classical form of horror is the, the nature of contrast and the lowering of the guard so you lower the guard with a meticulous kind of tedious thing and you have a contrasting situation that occurs rapidly. So Iron Lung was a very popular one. That's one of the more known ones now that we have done it. But like I said, this one also did a pretty decent job. Anyway, so thank you all for watching Play ROV. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.